An hour south of Oaxaca City, there's a small village called Santa Catarina de Minas. It's here that you'll find Roma Mescal, a palenque nestled amongst majestic hills and towering cacti in a vast section of open desert. This palenque is as beautiful as the mescal that's made here. Their tagline is El Placer de Hacer Mezcal. This saying is written on each of their bottles and means the pleasure of making mezcal. Ramba Mezcal is made under the watchful eye of first generation mescalera Rosario Angeles Vasquez, who started the brand in 2020. Ramba is a female Indian name that means celestial dancer and is a symbol of ecstasy. Her palenque is ancestral, meaning that they use clay pot distillation and they crush the agave by hand. Rosario uses water from a nearby stream rather than a well. She feels that it adds sweetness. Her palenque is laid out efficiently and it's easy to see the various stages the agave goes through to produce her mezcal. Maturacion, a maturation. After the agave hearts or piñas are smoked in the oven outside, they are rested here in the shade for a week. During this period, they ferment naturally with airborne microbes. Molienda, now the piñas are ready to be crushed. Rosario chooses to do this in the ancestral way, by hand, with large wooden mallets. These mallets are heavy, and the work couldn't be more difficult. Some believe, like Rosario, that this produces a more accurate expression of the terroir, and is more connected to the earth. The mash from the crushed piñas is placed in a large wooden vat that holds around 500 gallons. This will ferment aerobically for two days, and water is taken from a nearby stream and added to the mix. This will be left to ferment anywhere from 4 to 30 days. Natural yeast from the environment transforms the sugars into alcohol. Rosario uses all five senses and intuition to determine when fermentation is complete. From this stage, the mash is double distilled. Rosario uses clay pot distillation. In this method, a large clay pot is filled with ferment and is heated from a large fire below. The alcohol rises to a second clay chamber above before hitting a water-cooled condensing plate. It then drips onto a funnel that drains out the side. After first distillation, the fibers are removed from the still and the resulting low-grade alcohol is added back into the still. The mixture is distilled once again. Once double distillation is complete, the mezcal is ready to be bottled and most importantly, enjoyed. Rosario's Palenque sits in a picturesque landscape and is a perfect setting for enjoying her many great expressions and even more so in the company of friends. At Ramba, she is growing and producing several magues that we thoroughly enjoyed, such as Quiche, Tobesiche, Espadin, Arroqueño, Dobala. She is also producing ensembles and pechugas. Rosario is a first generation producer and is no mescalero to follow. She has forged her own path and has built mezcal Ramba from sheer grit and determination in just three months. She left behind a career as an English teacher to pursue her dream of being in nature and making mezcal. Rosario was met with a lot of challenges as a young, inexperienced female producer in a male-dominated industry. On top of all that, Rosario's first distillation in 2020 was perfectly timed with the global pandemic. But despite all her challenges, she pressed on and is producing really beautiful mezcal today. Rosario's story is inspirational. She is producing something really special in harmony with the land. The love and passion of her craft is evident in every step of the process, and especially when she shares her mezcal. Our visit to Mezcal Rumba was one of the many great surprises we shared together. And this is what keeps us coming back to this magical place.